City of mine How I love, how I love The city of mine It never gets me down Good morning, welcome to another vlog. It's Monday morning, 7.45 right now. I've been up since seven. Took Bentley for a walk, listened to a podcast. I listened to the new episode of Mindset Mentor podcast. Um, and it was actually really good this morning, talking about how, you know, you can change, you can't change the the people around you like you can't change their mindset obviously but you can you can change the people you surround yourself with so i i always love to think about that because you know you can never truly change a person they're gonna have to you know want to change and make that first step for themselves and it just really dove into that and i don't know i thought it was a good episode to listen to this morning so I brushed my hair, put my sunscreen and everything on this morning, and now I'm going to make my coffee. I've been trying to have my coffee like an hour after I've woken up in the morning because I've started to notice um, in the last like week that I've been trying to do this, I have a little bit more energy for my coffee when I do wait an hour and instead of like drinking it right when you wake up. I also heard that tip from the same Mindset Mentor podcast on how to have more energy naturally, so definitely check that out. Um, I like listening to those kinds of podcasts in the morning. It just like really starts my day off on a good note, and it like gets me thinking rather than, you know, walking Bentley and like scrolling through social media or like scrolling on TikToks or something. Like I like to listen to a podcast or something somewhat educational first thing in the morning. Okay. Would you like some breakfast? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, baby boy? Okay, let's feed him. And I'm gonna make myself some coffee and get started on the day. All right, for coffee lately, I have been back on my brown sugar, vanilla powder, and cinnamon kick. I need to order more espresso on Amazon today because I only have two there. I have a whole pack here. Okay, maybe not today, but definitely this week. I also have these um, coffee, um, these are full beans. They're not ground uh, ground yet. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak this morning. Um, so I think I'm gonna grind some of these today. And then I have, because I was watching a video on TikTok last night and it reminded me that I had this. Let's see this cold brew maker i've had this thing for years and years but i never buy um ground coffee because i have my nespresso so it's usually pods so um i got some of these for blue cinnamon and i'm gonna grind some of that up put some of that in here so i can start having some cold brew in my refrigerator and then i won't have to buy bottles of cold brew anymore so that'll be a project today Okay, I actually realized that I still have some of this left and I want to drink it before it goes bad because it's been in my fridge for a little while. Um, so that's normally the coffee that I do in the morning, but we are going to use up the rest of this iced coffee this morning so then I can make some cold brew in here and have that. So I'll do this and then I bought oat milk from Trader Joe's, so I will do a little bit of this in there and probably some like cinnamon or something all right i'm officially starting the download for ios 16 so i think i'll probably film a uh, <laughs> i think i'll probably film the ios 16 update today after i spend some time doing that but vlog is done and i am waiting for it to finish exporting and then we are good oh hello you were truly made for the camera you really are my child you know like mother like son is that how it is 
super, super. Ooh, I'll brush you out again. You got so much hair everywhere. Right, you want brush? Okay, let's do that. Okay, so while I wait for this to finish downloading and updating, I am gonna make the cold brew. So, I don't have an actual... <laughs> of course it grabs the tennis ball right when I am ready to do this with you guys. Um, I don't have an actual coffee grinder, but I... I think the attachment that I need is dirty. Well, let me find it. Okay. I washed up the attachment that I needed. Now I'm just going to grind some of this up, blend it up. Um, I probably won't do it like too finely. And like not for too long. Oh my goodness. That smells so good. Oh my goodness. I'm here for it. All right, we'll just put, I think I'm just gonna grind however much I think that I will need for my cold brew for each time that I make it because I think it lasts a little bit longer when it's like whole beans versus completely ground. Don't quote me on that. I've been out of my, my barista uh, vibe is not the word that I'm looking for, barista career for a while. Okay, I think maybe like that much. Maybe that much. That kind of seems like a lot. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how it blends. I should probably plug it in first. That might be helpful. I literally just did 10 seconds. I definitely need it ground a little bit more, so I'll do that again. Okay, I think it all blended this time. Yes. Okay, I'd say that's like a good coarse grind. I feel like I could probably use this for two cold brews that I make. So. I am going to, if I had one of those like airtight containers to store like the entire thing of grounds in, I'd probably do that. But I'm also not like making this like regular coffee every single morning. Like I'll probably do this every few days. So this should be good for now. Let's take, this is on Amazon. It should be linked on my storefront still. It's in here. It's just stained. Yeah. Okay. This is like. Um, sort of mesh. It's like very, very fine. So you're not going to have to worry about getting any coffee grounds in like your cold brew or anything. Some of it didn't blend like all the way, but you know what? I think since we're doing cold brew, I think it'll still be okay. So scoop this into here. I think I'm going to do four big scoops. I feel like that's about half. Maybe a little bit more. I can't remember how much I used to put in here when I would do this, but I think I'm just gonna put maybe that much in there. Cause I feel like realistically, like there isn't that much water that can fit into here once you put this in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fill this up with cold water, maybe like halfway-ish and see how much more we can fit in there. All right, I'm filled it up with water. Cap is screwed on tightly. I could definitely do more water. Let's try that again. We're gonna do till there with water. I'm gonna put your cold brew, cotton grounds, put cold brew in. And then make sure it's locked. So let's shift it up. Mix up the grounds. <laughs> and then you basically just let this sit in your refrigerator for up to like I think eight to 12 hours. And then you can take the coffee ground um, center piece out and then you have cold brew for the week. So, well, maybe not the week because this isn't a lot, but all right, I'm gonna put this in 
my fridge so I will have this for tomorrow and yeah enjoy I'll have this linked on my Amazon storefront just another way to save some money for your weekly budget because the cost of like a bag of coffee beans is I feel like usually around eight to ten maybe fifteen dollars depending on what kind of coffee or like brand that you're buying and the price of one of those bottles of the Starbucks iced coffee that you guys saw me buy or saw me use this morning I feel like that's like five dollars in itself and you can make a lot more with this than you can by buying like the individual bottles so you know stick into our budget find in other ways to save money make more stuff at home okay I am so hungry I'm gonna figure out breakfast food and I think my phone is officially is it updating yet still preparing the update so I'll let you guys know once that's done all right the update finally downloaded so I'm gonna install it to see how long this takes it's 10 30 now I just made myself an acai bowl for breakfast I put a little too much liquid in it so it's a little it's a little soupy but that's okay it still works I'm too hungry to wait to let this like freeze and harden it is three o'clock now work is done for the day finally it feels so good not be staring at my computer and like stressed about anything i wrote out a to-do list for myself for the rest of this week rather than like breaking it down <laughs> he wants to go outside um into like days that i need to get stuff done so that way i just have like this is what i need to get done this sometime this week um okay time for a workout i feel like my brain is just like so scattered today it's been a lot like it really takes everything out of me when i spend more than like three hours editing something because i edited two videos today and filmed one and it's just a lot to do all in one day this is my workout outfit for today i have on the bandeau sports bras from amazon in green this half zip up is from h&m and then i have on these alphalete shorts the workout is outside today so I know I'm gonna be extra warm if I wear leggings or anything. I feel like I can like really start to notice my like leg growth and booty growth now when I put on shorts to work out in because these are getting a little a little tight on me. Like my TLF shorts that I love, those ones are way too tight on me now, so I think I'm gonna have to list those on my Poshmark soon. But it's starting to get to that point where like I'm very proud of the gains, but now I have to slowly start buying new shorts that are going to fit the leggings. But it's not a bad thing to complain about. But I, I don't know how much longer I'll really be able to wear these shorts. It's like getting to that point where they're just like getting a little too uncomfortably tight. <laughs> okay. Workout fit. I'm going to throw my hair up, grab some water, and... I might leave a little bit early so I can get an energy drink at like the gas station or something on the way just because I feel so like mentally drained from being on my computer all day but I'm in need of movement my body needs it it'll feel so good to be outside get a good sweat in and then I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store on the way home because I did not get that done this past weekend so I still need to do that I have no groceries for the week so warm it was 77 degrees out that entire workout it was a good workout I feel really good like I'm glad I went but oh man I forget how much harder it is to work out in the Sun because I mean those hit classes like I mean at the end of the day they're no joke but doing a hit class in the Sun is like a whole new level I am toasted. I need to go get groceries. So I think I'm gonna do that before I go home. I feel like disgusting though going to get groceries right now, but it is what it is. I'm gonna use my AC to cool myself down. I'm gonna run to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. 
Actually, do I even need to go to Trader Joe's? That's what I'm trying to decide. I might just be able to get everything that I need for like tonight at Whole Foods so I don't have to make a stop at Trader Joe's and I can do like Trader Joe's stuff another day, like later on in the week. You know what, I think I'm gonna do that because I just don't have it in me to do two grocery store stops. Okay, let's go. Okay, I feel like that was such a long drawn out Whole Foods trip and I definitely spent more than I would have if I went to Trader Joe's, but that is okay because I do have leftovers. That sun is so bright. I have leftover um, pasta and some other stuff from Trader Joe's for like other meals this week because I got steak tacos for dinner, which will be my dinner and probably my lunch for tomorrow. And then I have the other frozen stuff in my freezer. So we are all set. Ooh, let's go guys that workout class ended at 4 uh 50 it is 6 p.m and i'm finally home with groceries i got more granola some watermelon to snack on cilantro and steak for steak tacos blackberries red onion for steak tacos as well as three limes i think this is actually pronounced wallaby not wallaby someone commented that on my videos but i got another container of this some kettle corn and then I got a few different poppies for the rest of the week. What was my total today? Let's see. 81 dollars. If you can see that. Yep. 81 for just this. But honestly it's because they didn't really have budget friendly wines like they do at Trader Joe's. Um, but this is a good uh, Chardonnay and then the steak that I got was $16 for one piece so those are like the two priciest things everything else is like you know okay I need to shower so badly I'm also so hungry but I, ju I just want to shower first before I do anything else all right onion is chopped up this is the cheese that I add on to the tacos some cilantro, lime. I put lime juice on the taco shells before I put them in the oven. Poured myself a glass of wine. And I always use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. It's just healthier. Tastes the exact same, can't even tell. I was gonna make my little cilantro, lime, Greek yogurt, and onion, not onion, um, garlic dressing, but I just didn't feel like pulling out the blender again. So keeping it simple and I added garlic into the steak that I cooked, so still get that flavoring. And then these are just about done. All right, it's almost 9 a.m. That's like 8.45 right now. I am changed, ready for the gym today. Shorts are from Amazon. Sports bra is also Amazon. Top is aloe. And then I have on my high top Converse. I don't think I'm hitting legs today, but I might change my mind when I get to the gym. But we'll see. I kind of want to do um, back and biceps today because I feel like I've done a lot of like chest and shoulders at cause, especially yesterday. So upper body, and then hopefully I can get I can hit like legs heavy tomorrow or something. But I teach tomorrow in the morning and the evening and then I teach Thursday morning but I also just made a vet appointment for Bentley because he's having the same ear infection and like rash on his back again which happened like earlier this year and I changed the food and everything and he's doing fine for so long so now I'm wondering if he is allergic to this food that I've been feeding him and if I'm gonna have to get him like something different or I, I don't know I don't know what else to, to do so I'm gonna take him to the vet and we're gonna get all of that hopefully sorted out later tonight so all right off to the gym I go I will show you guys my workout today you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be 
Gym was good today. There was no one there, and I highly loved it. I get everything that I wanted to get done. I did a lot of back exercises today, but I haven't been able to work my back the way that like I feel like I can work every other muscle usually, um, because I've had like some issues with my back for the last like six months. So finally feels good enough felt so good to go heavier today and just really like focus more so on back and then I don't think I filmed it but I finished off the workout with 21s and that was like a solid way to end the workout. My arms are dead. <sighs> okay I need to go do a UPS return and then I gotta head home and shower. I have a doctor's appointment at one so I want to shower and change and then I need to work on my playlist for Thursday I did my playlist for uh, my Wednesday class I teach Wednesday morning and Wednesday night so I had to make sure that I got it done before I taught on Wednesday morning I'm still waiting for like the workouts so I like planned it how like our usual timing is for those classes so hopefully the timing is still the same because then I won't have to worry about changing anything on the playlist but it's pretty much done and set, so I just have one more playlist to make for this week and then I'm good. Alright, I'm back home. I know my camera needs to be charged so badly. I went to Trader Joe's. I got more eucalyptus. I got these. The vegan uh, bonbons are so good. I love them. And then more of the Cocoa Bon for probably next week, honestly. And then I have seen so many TikToks that say um, cherry juice helps you fall asleep and stay asleep. I don't know what it is about it. There's something in it. But yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try it tonight and see how I sleep. I think you're just supposed to drink like a few ounces or something before bed. So I got that. And then I also stocked up on chicken and rice. I think I got a bigger bag of chicken this time. This is the bag of chicken that I usually get from Trader Joe's. Um, and this one was more expensive. So the pieces are gonna be bigger, so they'll last a little bit longer. And then I got this coffee, which I'm debating drinking right now. 
at 3 p.m. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. It's the La Cologne Pumpkin Spice Latte. I haven't had one of these in so long. And then the last things that I picked up were these cherry juice shots. So, don't normally do this much grocery shopping in one week, but I kind of just felt like every time I would go into my pantry, I was like, I wish I had like this from Trader Joe's or like this. Um, I also got more protein bars. I don't remember if I showed that or not. Okay, I'm gonna put all of this away, take Bentley for a walk, and then I gotta work on my playlist for Thursday.